Hi. Welcome to an episode of My First Time. In this episode, I am going to try my hand at dipping fabric in a concrete slurry. I've made it. It's pretty wet. Again, it's my first time. I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, and this is a very experimental, uh, what you could call an outhouse kind of structure. Behind me is the head hut. A uh, more sophisticated, but still experimental structure. In any case, I thought I would bring you with me on my journey as I do this for my first time. I find sometimes we learn a lot. We make mistakes that we don't always share. And I appreciate it when others share uh, that first time experience. So what I have here is some chicken wire over a loose wood frame, just to give you a quick rundown. All this that you see in the middle here is just bracing to help hold uh, something of an arch as I lay um, some concrete slurried material over that. And what I've, oh, what I've got, <laughs> I was about to say, I brought some clean water, but I just dumped most of that out and got it dirty with my slurry hand, so we're off to a good start. Um, I also brought a lot of old t-shirts. This is one of my favorites you might recognize. Um, I decided to let a bunch of stuff go, including a lot of old ratty t-shirts. And the main thing, hang on. The main thing I'm starting with is this old ratty sheet, which I used to use as a paint drop cloth, have used. It served me very well. Good uh, thing to use as a paint drop cloth, by the way. I think better than plastic for me. But in any case, I'm going to start by soaking this in the slurry and draping it over that. Hopefully I won't get you all slurried up. Let's see how it goes. I did look up briefly um, a couple people's examples of different kinds of material. Really, there's all sorts of things out there. I decided not to use sand. As you saw, I made a pretty wet batch, and I only brought those t-shirts out in case this sheet doesn't uh, soak up all that so far. You know, you, I, I know you definitely want to work that slurry through all the fibers of the material, so I may actually, I may actually need a little of that water. I think I do. Just a little. Working that out. Oh, that was probably a little much. That's right. It's all a work in progress. I I can always come back over with another layer. And uh, as I mentioned, it's a pretty low tech, low investment, low risk structure that I'm starting with for my first time with slurry. It's in the back here. I do hope it'll serve a purpose eventually. As uh, getting somebody out of the rain if they also just the purpose of experimentation. All right, I think this is going pretty good. I'll show you what I'm working with, which is a which is that sheet all slurried up now. Used up most of the slurry I had in this bucket, which by the way was Portland cement and some lime, hydrated lime which is a thing I like to work with. Maybe I shouldn't have added all that water. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and do it, though. And just uh, drape it over this. For starters, I've seen some pretty cool sculptures done with this technique, so it got me thinking about it. And I have some other ideas, but... Again, it's relatively new to me, so I thought I would just just try a little of it. That's how I like to learn. I do intend to take this out, so for now I'm going to leave it in because already I'm not happy with this edge. As you see, I work. I'm a pretty loose working artist. I just kind of go as I go, see as I see. See what I see as I see. It's thinner than I hoped. 
put maybe useful at least for learning it's useful as you see I've put lots of things in my way that's oh you can't see one of my specialties could hear me over there. It's just a big, just a big blank wondering what's happening. What's happening? I don't know either. If it's any consolation. <laughs> you know, I would be. Just spreading this out. There we go. That's closer what I had in mind. As one might suspect, I was a lot messier <laughs> than you might hope. I might have hoped. A little bit of slurry left in here, so I'm going to put green shirt up there. This shirt may have been around a while. A lot of slurry doesn't quite go in when it's not wet enough, but then when it's too wet, it doesn't stick. So maybe it was a sweet... A sweet spot for that that I haven't discovered yet. I think that's too dry. I'm getting it. Getting it almost. Oh, the shirt. I think that might be kind of too thin, although it's okay if we're starting, I think. Mm-hmm. Put more water in that, and then as in too thin the fabric. And I'm just talking to myself out loud. That's what I do. There'll be yet undiscovered amounts. A finish work. I'm like being picky about what shorts to sacrifice. Nice, that's funny. I'm hard time letting go of some of my old shirts. As you see, I just get them all ruined as soon as I work in them. 
this one had elephants on it. It's a spirit. I think this is going to be it for my, my first batch of slurry. I think I'm going to have to go real quick and make some more while I'm messy. But uh, anyway, you get the idea. Thanks for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Mm -hmm. Maybe suggestions. <laughs> uh, clearly, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I'm learning now. That's how I learn, just by doing. Still some stuck at the bottom there, so I add a little more water. Add in too much. The lime should slow down the curing process a little bit. I think ideally I would spray it and uh, cover it. Anyway, I might go get a little more in my bucket while I'm already dirty. But for now, I will bid you adieu. Let's see if I can keep a clean hand. Remind you to use your safety equipment, bare minimum, some plastic glasses and gloves, chemical gloves for the lime. You don't have to get it in your arm like that, and if you do, go wash up pretty quick. Sometimes I'll use a vinegar or pickle juice after I do concrete work, just to kind of, uh, yeah, balance out, zero out the, is it the acidic effect? The alkaline effect. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Check out the description for ways you can connect with me and support me. And until next time, ciao.